It's fascinating. When you are parachuting inside the details of a culture and looking at it from the inside out. Tokyo Vice is inspired by the memoir of the same title and the life of Jake Adelstein. It's a deep dive into the various underworlds of Tokyo in the late 90s. It's a story about outsiders and insiders. The behavior, the attitudes, the background, the history. The world of Tokyo Vice is really four worlds. There's the world of journalists, there's the world of the police, there's the world of Yakuza, and there's the world of nightlife and the hostess clubs where all three of the other worlds kind of intermingle. Target. Jake Adderstein this. Jake is our guide. He's a uh, young American in pursuit of an outrageous ambition. You wish to be a crime reporter in Japan. I... No foreigner has walked here, ever. I understand. Jake is really determined. He really loves challenges, and that was me with this project. Ansel is a joy to work with. His ability and dedication to creating a sense of authenticity has been really exciting to watch. Some of the preparation was to have Ansel go and investigate a story, pursue it, to bring the actor into actually having those skill sets, which Ansel pursued fervently. Everything you do has consequences. There is always a cost. Ken Watanabe plays Detective Katagiri, who becomes the sort of father figure to Jake. Ken-san is a deeply warm and generous person who knows what he wants and how to perform it. Ken Watanabe, the first day we were shooting, is just walking up the sidewalk. And when he walks up the sidewalk, he steals all your attention. It's just hijacked. And I remember thinking to myself, that's called a movie star. The biggest and most exciting challenge is how do you convey that tension and excitement and humor between two cultures interacting with each other? You think because you're a foreigner, the roads are different? Not in this company and not with me. So why are you doing this? Giving up and going home is not an option. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. Rachel Keller plays the part of Samantha. She's a hostess at a hostess bar in Tokyo. Japan has always been a part of my life, so I was really excited to start learning Japanese. Samantha is trying to reclaim her agency over her life. If you want to change your life, change your life. It's really, really hard, but I did it. Sato is a young member of a Yakuza family. When the actor Sho walked in the room, I say action. And then suddenly there was a gravitas in a, about him. And I just thought, man, this guy is like Japanese James Dean. We track Sato's struggle to define who he is going to be and what kind of life he's going to have. I could write about you. But then I'd have to kill you. We are the first American show shot entirely in Japan. There's so much visual beauty, and we were able to shoot in places and reveal parts of Tokyo that you could never get. What a thrill to have Michael be setting the tone visually for the series. The master of noir, the master of nighttime urban cinema, and to sort of watch him lay the template and to work with him in casting the characters that begin the show, to talk through how the world would go forward, has been uh, fascinating. I work with a fantastic production designer named Jeff Mann, who's no relation. I think the sets he designed, particularly Onyx, the Onyx Hostess Club, I think is brilliant. It's some of the best production design, you know, that I've, that I've had. John Grillo lit the show for me, and then Roberto DeAngelis, the camera operator. These are people I've used for decades, and what they contribute is quite fantastic. It's interesting how, by being in a new place, inspires you. The architecture, the colors, the shapes. 
I love stories that take you into a world that otherwise you wouldn't get to see, and I think Tokyo Vice really does that. Do you trust me? Show the slick veneer of the 90s, and then all the deep traditional nature of Japanese culture that's just underneath the surface. You really get to see the underbelly of the city. It's a story about the outsider struggling to remake themselves in the vision of how they want to be. It's our ambition to bring the audience into a whole different world.